With turnover day approaching and early flights out for clients, I'm forced to give up a great duck hunt and hand it off to Jason so I can stay back and take care of stuff. The cold morning adds misery to my day as the ducks flew mostly after the hunters had pulled from the hunt. The guides are on crop patrol as I make the dash to the airport and Brad quarterbacks Jeff and Mel up next on massive combos. With snow and cold in the forecast, how is this gonna shake down? I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. The clients we have at the camp right now have a very, very early flight. Like they have to be gone from the lodge at 10.30. So pretty tall order, we have shoot a limit of ducks and have them fed, showered, packed up, settled up and gone by 10.30. So I fell on this hunt, ducks are puddling, call Jay, Jay's come over, we're gonna hand it off to him, he'll do the hunt uh, if it sticks and that'll be that, you know, and, and hopefully it's, it's close, he gets it done in the morning, 40 ducks, bada bing, bada boom. Do hats? Look, don't slide. They don't lock the don't door. Don't lock the door. <laughs> if we just go right, right along this edge, we should be able to see right in the pond. This is perfect, Jay, because now there's a few ducks right, right on the ground. The you puddle, the puddle, like, I mean, when I drove around this corner, it's right oh, I there. I can see the fence line. Yeah. So that puddle backs onto the fence line. It, well, it's either that or that one. There's but we don't want to kick those birds off that feed, and there's, there's a few ducks feeding there, so I think we back out. It's perfect. Hopefully we can get it's out. It's got to be right there. It's that one. And you'll figure that out in the dark, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. There they are, there they are. Some more going in. I just see how see if they're going. And those birds are right there, I think. Right on the east side of that pond. Perfect. Well, right now, they're feeding, I think they're feeding right there. No, they North. Are. Yes, that's yes, that's right. Right, right. Now. But when, if, you go, if you go up to the tower, you'll see there's no snow on everything around that pond. Right. And that was just yesterday, right? right. So I just hope those, okay, cool. those let's ducks settle. Okay, let's get out of here. You're in, I'm not. <laughs> oh, we had a little bit of a rodeo this morning. We, uh, I went out on a honker hunt and a duck hunt and they uh, they weren't too cooperative, so we ended up running the guys over to another hunt and uh, sat in there, and we ended up shooting 60 some birds out of that. So it was a little bit of a Texas scramble, but it all worked out and uh, came together. And it was about three o'clock by the time we got back to the lodge, so we left the lodge at five o'clock. So it was a long day. And then we have something to eat real quick, and back in the spotting car and. Do it all over again. Never ends. Well, there's a couple thousand ducks in here now, and there's a puddle at the back end. So they're obviously puddling there and then feeding. They have been feeding, they just got up and swirling around. No big deal. Um, so yeah, we'll watch it here till dark and Help the farmer out with all these barley swaths around. The, the birds are sure hurting these swaths, but we're going in in the morning. It was one of Claudio found the hunt and turnover day tomorrow, Wednesday morning, so the clients are flying out actually pretty early, so we were looking for a duck hunt. And Claudio just drove by and seen this one and picked it up, and so it's good to go. And it's close to the lodge, and hopefully just a quick puddle hunt in the morning, get the clients out early and everybody will be happy, except the ducks. Well, good morning. We made it into this uh, puddle hunt that we were watching last night, and uh, the guys are uh, just dressing up the blinds right now. We're using those box blinds. We can slide them right up to the edge of the, the pothole. Uh, it didn't freeze this morning. I thought it would. Half of it's frozen, but the half that I'm gonna hunt isn't frozen, so that worked out well. And then uh, 
We'll put out some uh, floater decoys, obviously. And uh, what we'll do is we'll set up a field rig right behind our blinds. And it's happened before is that sometimes if these ducks come out a little bit later, it's getting October colder, that they won't want to puddle. They're going to want to hit the feed. If they're coming from water, just hit the feed. So if they decide to do that, and you know, all we had is a, uh, a water rig out hunting the pothole, we won't decoy too many. They'll circle the field, circle the field, circle the field. So we put a, a, a smaller decoy spread behind us using DNA decoys. And what will happen is they'll concentrate on those field decoys and they'll drift, then float right over top of us, over the blind. So they're still gonna be reachable, killable, and it actually works good. So now in this scenario, we've got them covered both. If they wanna puddle, we've got them. If they wanna uh, feed, we've got them as well too. So let's see if it works out. Hey, kill him, go, go, go. Oh, not in the ice. Kill that single, go, go. Shoot that one there. Ah, just leave, we're gonna have lots of ducks. Straight out. Get ready. Go, 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 go. That's a trip, way. Good job, boys. They're lining up just perfect. <laughs> what time is it? 7.45, we got a half an hour to shoot. Legal is 7.15, these ducks are really sleeping in. I heard the speckle bellies to the south are flying, so it's a good sign that they're up and moving, so should be any minute, cross our fingers. These guys got an early flight, so we can only shoot to 8.15, so we were hoping that they were gonna come out early but they didn't, so we've got five, but we haven't seen any of the big flights yet. It'll go, it'll go, you gotta be positive. All right, we're going to uh, clean up. <laughs> the, uh, the ducks really slept in the storm, it's below zero, there's ice on the waters, and uh, these guys got to fly out early today, so it'll be interesting to see how late they do uh, sleep in. And yeah, it was fun. It was too bad because I was looking forward to it. It was going to be awesome. We had a great setup, decoys in the field, and nice puddle, great cover for the blinds. We were just going to smash them in here if they would have showed up. So, anyways, that's hunting. Uh, so now we're cleaning up real fast and get these guys back to the lodge. They can shower, clean up. They got to fly out at about noon, so we got to get them out of the lodge by. 10.30, the latest, have a quick bite to eat, and uh, then uh, the new group rolls in tonight and do it all over again. Stretched them out as long as I could, man. They'd have five more minutes, they'd limit it out. But they did, so. It's not like you didn't sit out in the snow for enough hours this week. <laughs> Go back to work to rest? Yeah. All right, well, the boys will get your uh, ammo yep. and stuff back, and then we'll be ready. We'll get you yeah. on the road quick. Okay. Breakfast is on, guys. Late flight this morning. We never, uh, oh, we got a half a dozen geese. They were, they were just starting to come, too, and it, I'm looking at my watch. I know I got to have these guys out of the field by about a start packing a quarter after eight. 10 after 8, I go, okay, I'm going to walk the truck. You guys just sit here. And I turned around and seen the first flights coming. So I kind of drug my heels a little bit. Five minutes later, we had 22 ducks. If I I should have let them there for another 10 minutes, but I knew the their dads wouldn't be too happy if I did that. So we'd, we'd have limited it out. I mean, we had enough flights while we were pe pe picking up that... <laughs> it had been nothing, and the boys were shooting really, really good. So they're in there now, racing to get out of here. They got to be out of here by 10:30. So they'll make her. They'll make her barely, but they'll get there. <laughs> Hello. Hey. What's going on? Okay, we got ducks. Lots. Well, looks like it. I just seen I just seen two big flights come in. 
Do I pull the Do I pull the trigger on it? Is it big enough to be a big hunt? I think so. I'd say there's five thousand at least. I know Jeff's got a gazillion ducks, so make sure. I get that, but you 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 got to make the decision because you know darn well the. Whatever, whatever two, whatever two hunts are used are going to be it for the day. Okay, I'll phone Jeff Tom to get permission. If not, we got axles. That's right. Okay, good enough, man. Well, I'm in if we can get permission. This particular fella here, he's been really good to us, and I, it's hard to watch his crop go away, and it's going away. Yeah, I'm just going to go into uh, Bob's house, see if I can get permission on it. I'll go see what happens. So this poor man's swaz. We've hunted three times now. And in the meantime, in between that, the farmer's been driving through him to get him out of the swaz. Oh, lots of ducks, snows. It looks a little lighter on speckle bellies anyways tonight, but I think it may be it's heavier on ducks. I don't know. They just don't want to go away. It's got good roost water right beside the field, which is the biggest issue. They really like that water and the swaths are right off the water. So they're just, they don't want to leave. So I don't know. The farmer phoned me again. I mean, we should probably hunt it again, but we have other farmers we're trying to take care of too. So. Just waiting for Mal and Jeff to get back to me on two swath hunts they were, they're asking on. Um, if they're gonna, I mean, these, they've been waiting to hunt. So, I mean, if they're, they're good on those ones, then I'm gonna just drive through and get these birds out of here. Try to keep them out for another day. I don't know how well that'll work, but uh, I mean, it's all we can do, right? We have a lot of farmers, a lot of swaths down right now and a lot of bird damage. So that's where it's at. So I'm just waiting for those two to get back to me, figure out if they're good to go, if not, Looks like we'll be going back into his. There's someone phoning right now. No, that's my kid. <laughs> hi, hi, sweetie. Hi. How are you? Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going, buddy? It's going all right, how are you? I'm good. Uh, she said, yeah, the neighbors have been saying to get them geese off there because they're eating all your crop up. So she, hey. she said, you go ahead. There's a, there's a ton of birds coming in here, man. Okay, well, you're good then. I'm, I'm good right now, uh, unless, you know, if you... If you I'm waiting on Jeff. Okay. I'm waiting on Jeff right now. If he's good to go, then I'm going to go bump these out of here, get these, to get these off as swaths because they're just about to come back out into them yeah and before they do any more damage so i'm just waiting jeff's supposed to phone right away i'll let you know uh, yeah okay so you're good until i hear otherwise y yeah yeah no it it looks solid perfect okay right, you bet take care you bet. yeah bye-bye so one target's good sounds like mel's good to go jeff's got a big swath hunt as well um, I want to say it sounds by talking to Jeff it's bigger than the one Mel's talking about and Mel's pretty excited. So two big ones. This one here is ridiculous. I mean any given day I'm going to be happy to hunt this so bad problems for the farmers but good problems for bird hunters. I mean there's a lot of birds to hunt. It's just picking which ones and trying to you know trying to help these guys out trying to get the birds off of their fields. The ones we're not going to hunt we're going to bump them out and uh, yeah we're just trying to organize. Right now we're just organizing hunts. It's not finding them so. Good problem to have lots of birds around right now. All of them on swaths or standing crop. So we haven't hunted stubble. I haven't hunted stubble in three weeks. So it's been all on, on crop. So just trying to get them out of there. And in the meantime, shooting limits of birds. Stubble a little hard to beat. Oh. Hey, Daddy. Come on. Drop. Whoa! <laughs> you did a face plant. A oh, whole bunch of ducks and a whole bunch of specks. Probably 
four to five thousand each, I'd say, on a swath field. So we're pretty much hunting all swath, all crop right now. There's stubble fields we're not even really even looking at because there's so many crop fields that got birds on them right now. It's all we can do trying to keep some of the birds out of them for people. You know, landowners are so good to us and let us hunt. And we're at least now we can pay them back a little bit by trying to save some of their crop from all these ducks and geese that are eating them out of house and home right now. Like they haven't got the combine hardly at all. And then we just got this last dump of snow here a couple of days ago and it's just crazy. Like it's gonna take a lot of warm weather to dry this stuff up. Go find Ralphie's toy, I threw it for him. He did a face plant going through the ditch and he lost it. So we gotta go try and find his toy. Come on, bud. Over there. Eat it. Come on, Ralph. Got to put the window down in case you lock the door. Right? Dummy. <laughs> Dummy. There's Jeff there. Hello, Jeffrey. Hey, good to go. G to G? Yep. Oh, alrighty. She says, you go shoot as many of those as you want. <laughs> All right, I gotta go, Jeffrey. I'm gonna bump him off of uh, off of axles. Yep. Okay. Bye, Jeffrey. So Jeffrey is in on that hunt. So we're good to go. We're good to go for the morning, and we'll be uh, helping a couple farmers out. So two good things. I'm gonna bump these birds off this guy's swaths. Not gonna fix the problem, but at least they won't be feeding here tonight. Try to help them out. I mean, try to do what we can. Left side, guys, coming low. Don't move. Go, go, go! Here they come. Get ready. Rip them, rip them! Sorry boys, I was a little late on that one. <laughs> that was pretty though. Big group on the left. Rip them! You guys trying to save ammo or what? I have no excuse. It's a little bit of missing going on in that round. There was. <laughs> there should have been a lot of death in that one. Yeah, there's a lot of lucky ducks in that flight. <laughs> you can't ask for him any better than that. <laughs> Rip them! Here they come. Get ready. <laughs> Rip them! Well, good morning. Uh, so what's going on today? Uh, snow on the ground, of course, so this afternoon will be interesting no matter what. Uh, Mel and Jeff are out on two combos. I uh, haven't had a lot of feedback, so they're probably too busy to text. And if they're out there struggling, we'd have heard about it, believe me. Uh, so uh, that's going on. And today's our first uh, our first day uh, at Ongaro, Saskatchewan Adventures. And Daryl's off and running over there. And I got a text from him. And they have all their ducks done already for their group of five and six specs. And he says they're, they're going to crush the specs and probably kill some snow. So happy days all around here and there. And, and that's that. Go on, go on. Oh. 
Woohoo! You got three! That one guy got a spray to shoot. <laughs> I don't want to get splattered with blood. Yeah, you kind of half plucked him. Get ready, get ready. Rip him! I don't know that I could get him a whole lot nicer than that. No, Specs on the left, low guys. <laughs> rip them, rip them. <laughs> rip them. Okay, we gotta go pick up ducks. I got us pretty close. Good job, Jeffy. Good boy. How was it? West, did you have fun? I've never seen that many ducks on a hunt. You haven't. It was 20,000 if there was five. Well, I think there was a half a million birds out there. Half a million? Come on. I've never seen that many mallards in my life. Ever, it's the anywhere. same 45 that just keep coming at you. Uh, that's probably true. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's there, lots. There were mallards everywhere. I mean, just waves and, and in waves. Because right? right? oh. you're laying down. They so. were all coming down like and that. And how, how close? Like, <laughs> oh, they were yeah. too close. Oh, some of them were from behind. They'd come right over the top of your head. Tennis rackets. Yeah. That would be cool. A tennis racket. Yeah. Good. I'm, I haven't been anywhere like seen that. Hard. That's good. Unbelievable. That's good. Makes me smile. <laughs> That's good.